Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a finance and credit expert who's mm. made his mark by putting people on the path toward financial security and long-time wealth wellness. Mm. He joins us now to break down five ways to calculate your credit. Please welcome Ashton Henry. Yes! yes. 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 Together! Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me, ladies. Thank yes. you. I'm so happy that you're here yeah. now. I'm real big <laughs> on that credit yes, score. Yes, right. Probably every 30 days. Yeah. So I'm just <laughs> letting you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ashton, what's one of the biggest or the greatest misconception that people have when it comes down to credit? Um, I think one of the biggest, again, thanks for having me again. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that, you know, credit cards are free money. You know, mm -hmm. I remember when I just moved to the U.S., I got my first credit card. To me, it was free. But uh, obviously, it's not. You mm -hmm. know? And, right. um, there's also <laughs> uh, um, the misuse of credit cards, not using them the right way to really leverage and build your credit score, overspending mm -hmm. when it comes to having credit cards. And a lot of people just aren't educated enough when it comes to credit mm -hmm. and the use of credit cards, I would okay. say. So you, one of the ways you've helped your clients is by kind of keeping their credit on chat. You have five ways to calculate credit. How do we do that, sir? Well, great. You know, the five ways to actually calculate your credit score is, first of all, 10% of your credit is based on the types of credit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, number two. Um, 10% is, is derived from new credit. Mm -hmm. Three, 15% mm -hmm. is the length of your credit history. Okay. Four, 30% is the amount of credit used. My God. Five, 35% <laughs> of your credit is your payment history. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to number one. 10% is the types of credit. So you have two types of credit. You have revolving credit and you have installment credit. Mm -hmm. Installment credit will be examples of a mortgage or a car note. Revolving will be your credit cards, mm -hmm. right? 10% okay. um, um, as far as 10% um, on the, the how a credit is actually calculated um, with your length of credit history, you want to make sure that you're not applying for credit as m many times as possible. Mm -hmm. You want to be very, very responsible when it comes to applying That's for credit, right? 15% right? okay. is based on the credit history, so you want to make sure that you um, not, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You okay, you good? Yeah. I'm not talking about the credit. You need some help. You know, at the end of I'm sorry, I just panicked there a second. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> I get nervous when, when, when I talk about credit, too. Yes, yes, right. Yeah. Okay. So 15% is based on uh, your length of your credit history. How mm. long have you had a specific account open? Right? Ah, okay. uh, you want to make sure that you don't close all accounts because by closing those accounts, you actually lose uh, your credit history. That's mm. right. That's right. And, uh, so many rules, man. There's so many rules. So many rules. 30% <laughs> uh, is based on um, your cr credit balance, your credit to uh, credit limit ratio. Mm -hmm. So you always want to keep your credit balances mm -hmm. under 30%. So mm -hmm. if you have a credit card, let's say it's $1,000, you want to keep that under 30%, that's yeah. about $300. Yeah. 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 Like um, you always want to keep it on 30%, and then 35% of your credit is based on your payment history. You mm -hmm. always want to pay your bills on time. Mm -hmm. I do that. So, yes. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that I do. So what you want to do, you know, just set the reminders in your phone before your bill is due to keep you on track, because here's the crazy part about it. One late payment yeah. can drop your credit as much as 100 points. Oh, oh my God. That's so unfair. Now they don't have here with no grease with it now. Right. That's, yeah. uh, you know, that's not cool. Oh. Oh. That great history, you do just one payment, like, oh, drop 100. That's they, a lot. They have bad credit. That's what I'm saying. And that's why I say all the time, it's so hard to establish good credit, yeah. but it's so easy to lose it. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. so easy. Now, let's talk a little bit about when you talk about the, 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 the credit card installment payments. Do you pay the full amount when the bill is due, or do you say, well, you know, I know I charge $3,000, but they just asked me to pay $52 on it, so I'm just going to pay the $52. Right. Let's right. talk a little bit about that. And when it comes to that, the first thing that you want to do is just make sure that you don't go over 30% of your credit mm -hmm. score, yeah. of your uh, credit card usage. So if you do go over it, you want to pay it down to at least 30% mm -hmm. because if you continue making those minimum payments, your credit card balances is still over 30%. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. still going to affect you in a negative way um, by Who keeping making him? payments. <laughs> I mean, you stepping all on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I'm never quiet. I'm so quiet right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my and gosh. And then talk about a little bit about say it, man, say out. The, right. the, the interest ouch. That, that, that is also accruing. When you do things like that, you're constantly digging yourself in the hole. You're yeah. never going to come up for air when you're doing things Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. And, and, and if you have a poor credit score, that means that your interest rates are a lot higher. Mm -hmm. So those minimum payments that you're making is actually going towards the interest and not wow. the principal of paying on that debt. That's right. Mm -hmm. That sounds real quiet. nice. I feel judgment in your eyes. <laughs> oh, no, no, I feel no, no. a little judged today. No, sis, I'm, I'm Looking at the man. Yeah. No, no, I'm not looking at my guilt. It's not me. It's not me. So we're gonna have a 
have Morgan Ashton when we return. We've got a quiz that he's going oh. to uh, present to this us. Is gonna uh, be fun. We'll see how we do. So stay right there. Yeah. <laughs> We are back on Sister Circle Live with credit guru Ashton Henry, and he has a quiz for us. You got a couple uh -oh. of questions. Let's go. Go right ahead. We have our true or false paddles. Awesome, awesome. So let's okay. get started. First question Are credit bureaus government authorities? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, they report to true. Yeah. No, that's. Uh Oh, actually it, false. Oh, right. false. Uh, they're simply private companies who are in the business of collecting and selling credit information. They're okay. not okay. I knew it. All right. What's the next one? They, they'll stop uh, me from getting question a job, two. though. Uh, do derogatory negative items stay on your credit report for seven to ten years? Yes, that's true. If you don't dispute it. False. That's it's false. Not, false. Not false. If you don't dispute those negative items, they will stay on your credit yeah, report. Yeah, I said if you don't dispute it. Oh, you can actually true take legal action to, to get, get those negative off. items removed off your credit report. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, do it. I said it's true if you don't dispute it, so okay. I was right. One more. Uh, technically. <laughs> 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 All right, number three. All right, great. So um, let's say uh, paying a past due debt, does it remove it, the negative off your credit report? What? 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 Paying a past due debt, does it remove the negative off your credit report? Paying a past. No, no, it's still going to be past due. It's, it's going to say 30, 60, or 90 days past due. It's still going to be there, but it's, it's going to be, be paid. There. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's false. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had it up by default. I really didn't know. I, know. Oh, I said question. the true thing, okay. but then I put up the wrong one. That's, that's fine. fine. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. <laughs> Ashton, thank you so much. And you, you have this amazing book, too, The Chemistry of Credit. Ooh. Where can people find this book? Uh, you can go to ashtonhenryfinancial.com to get access to the book. And the book is just, again, educating people about credit. Because, again, most people just aren't educated about the process yes. and how credit is actually calculated. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Some of us feel great. Some of us not. Not so great yeah. after this, <laughs> <laughs> after this uh, interview.